Alright, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? Hope you're ready for some more Super Robot. Ready for Super Robot? I'm ready for the Super Robot. Alright, so from the last time, I didn't do anything super important. All I did was I went here to my skills and I taught uh, Setsuko uh, Will Limit Break for 500 points. And that gives us a max of 170 will instead of 150. That, that's literally it. I haven't touched anything else. Alright, so we need to go over here. All right, that's uh, Dur Dur Durall Durandall, whatever. Cogley. If you want to know more about these people, go. You know what? I'm not even gonna tell you to watch Sea Destiny. That that would be an injustice. If you're feeling brave, right? Viewer discretion. At your own at your own discretion, you can watch Gundam Seed and Sea Destiny. Gundam Seed, you know, it's it's a thing. It's okay. It's, it's, you know, 5 out of 10. It, it's alright. I thought it was alright. You know, nothing groundbreaking, but you know, I thought it was okay. Uh, I don't even know why I'm still here. Just get this. You know, so we're getting into Sea Destiny um, stuff here. If you want to know more about Sea Destiny plot, if you're feeling brave, you, you want to watch 50 episodes of, uh, Silliness. You can you can watch watch Sea Destiny. Um, though the plot will you know more or less is the same. It differs slightly in this game because you know they have to deal with all these other characters from all these other games that you know aren't present in the show. But you know overall it's the same. You know more or less some character development like Shin for example is uh, different. But you know like I said more or less it's it's the same. You get the gist of it. You understand if you if you watch the show. Well, like I said, that is a that is a piece of work show, man. That is a piece of work show. All right, so we got these guys. Uh, they are here to steal our prototype Gundams, which are conveniently in those uh, those barracks right there that are just totally unguarded. Like, it's just like in the first episode of the show. I think it's the first one or the second one. I'm just like, yeah, we're like just showing us around the field. Like, yeah, look at these Gundams. New Gundams we got that's just totally unguarded. That's like with two guards. And like some school kids can walk up and steal them. Like, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Uh, no. Go one further. Alright, so skill point for this one is kill everything and two turns. Alright, you got nothing for me. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt that. We're gonna attempt that. Now, on this, uh, this mission, when we get to it, um, there's, there's a two-part, or two-part mission. Um, there will be a, a choice here after we finish this. And I'll introduce, uh, uh, I guess not really a mechanic, I guess, you, I guess you could call it that if you want it. Um, but interesting kind of feature with the game that uh, we'll be getting more into uh, later. So I mean, really for for this mission, like I said, we're still early. Um, nothing's really too big a threat, though you can get screwed with some RNG. I mean, it is RNG. Um, you know, if a guy hits you twice and you can't, you know, you can't dodge, you're sitting on, you know. If he's got a 30% hit rate and he hits you twice, then it's like, well, it's not really your fault. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. Let's see, did I hit everybody? Yes. So, do this for this turn. So, we have 100% accuracy. Um, I actually don't do that. I need you to do some damage. Nope, don't do that. Don't hit that guy. Hit this guy. Alright, he's out of there. I almost called him Rusty, but no, that's that's regular Gundam C. But Rusty, no! They got Rusty. Alright, so. Stuff going on. People down there, they're watching us fight. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and hit this guy, it's whatever. Let's see. Uh, just hit this 
guy. Awesome. If I'd have missed, I would have been very upset. Very upset. Alright, in turn, we're supposed to kill him in two turns, but uh, this the enemy's turn still counts as turn two. So as long as he cooperates and we hit, awesome, we still got our skill. Cool. Boom. Getting that skill point gives all our guys 25 uh, PP. Uh, it costs 50 PP to increase a stat by one point. And then you can see the cost of any of the other skills um, in the menu. Alright, so yep, these are the kits. Three kits, they, they stole stole the prototype guns. Man, they gotta get some better security. What are they paying them dudes, man? What are they paying them dudes? So we've got um, Cogley and Alex Dino. Undercover man Alex Dino. There's uh, Luna Mario and Shin. They are members of the organization. Oh, that's Ray right, too. Uh, organization called Zaft. Um, if you want to know more about Zaft, you can you can watch See Destiny again at your own discretion. Don't don't just hop in there, man. Don't just hop in there. You gotta you gotta be fully prepared for the train wreck that is Sea Destiny. And uh, if you don't know who Mr. Alex Dino is. As you can see, he's got some jukes, man. He's ju juking around. He's left and right. He's got the zigzag down pat. He is all over the place, man. They can't hit him. He's fast. Uh oh, they caught on to his tricks. Say, yo, bro, we had enough of your shit, guy. You're over here zigzagging and all this other stuff. Oh man, a full cutscene. Oh, here it comes. You got him. So that uh, ship back there just fired four or four parts. Gatai sequence. I think we only see once. Oh man, for the little little thing. It's a Gundam. Impulse Gundam. Or Gundam Impulse, I don't know which one it is. Alright, so now we get a choice. Um, we get either help the people. Uh, the people in the, the hijacked Gundams or we can try and get back the hijacked Gundams so we're going to pick uh, get back or subdue the hijacked Gundams um, really all this uh, choice does is uh, change who you're fighting so yeah we can skip this so since we chose to um, ally with, we're gonna have to choose to fit. Uh, you know, feeling ballsy, feeling ballsy. Thirty-six percent, he won't hit. No deal, he won't hit. Do it, I dare you. Okay, we well, missed two, but that's fine. So if you pick the other option, um, the Zaku and the the Gundam would have been the enemies, and you would have had the other three. Hijack Gundams on your side. Um, since we picked this one, this is uh, what we got. Oh, yeah, man, that's, that's a little problematic. Um, I, I gotta play safe because if he dies, I'm done. Okay, he missed it anyway. I didn't know. It's a four, like a forty. It was a forty-six. I couldn't, I couldn't chance it, man. Couldn't chance it. All right, so we're gonna save because these, uh, these, uh, these hit percentages are are rough. Now, by choosing that option to uh, ally with these guys, we get uh, our first Zooth point. Um, Zooth points will become important um, later, much later, down the line, like mission, ooh, mission like 40-something down the line. Um, but basically, there's a, a route split that you don't get to choose 
um, it's decided like if, well if you're in your first playthrough, if you're in your second playthrough, you can you can pick. But uh, if you're in your first playthrough, you uh, you don't get the pick. It's determined by uh, how many Zeus points you have, and uh, Zeus points are conditions that we don't really know. Um, there's really you know, without looking them up, no way to really know that you do X to get, you know, X amount of Zeus points. Um, also, yeah, we do this. Also, there's no, there's no real way to check um, your Zeus points. It's just kind of like a, you gotta kind of keep track in your mind, you know, how many you have. And once you kill one of them, they, they leave. So, uh, this place is, uh, it's getting bombarded. This is Fubard. Gotta get out of here. Actually, we're just gonna skip this. I don't know if they'll show it, but, uh, so with this, we're on a space colony. They didn't show it. Okay, it's fine. I think they might be the next, be, uh, the next mission, but anyway. So remember, we were on a space colony, and that, that thing is full barred, like I said. Now, okay, we do. Um, I'm assuming this mission uses all of them? Yes, it does, so we don't get squats yet. Alright, but we do get uh, this guy. Uh, Impulse Gundam, even though it looks a little different. We'll get into Impulse Gundam in a bit. So I'm going to drop some money into this guy, because uh, if you're on a Setsuko route, um, this guy will be very, he will help you for a very long time, pretty much to the end of the game. Well, maybe not this particular suit, but I mean, uh, it, it might, it might, it might. But uh, I'm going to drop some money in this guy, because we're going to use him for the long haul. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to drop, uh, some PP on Shen. I can, I can just show you this now. Um, let's see, we want, will limit break... Uh, you know what, sure. Get extra attack in there. Um, I don't remember if I need Issei for later, but we'll let's see. Uh, let's see, Lunamaria. Basically, I just get Will and break my everybody, because it's cheap in this game, and there's, there's no reason not to. Like, there's zero reason not to get Will Limit Break. Alright, so we saved here. Um, next time we'll do mission three. Um, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Did we make it off the colony? Of course we made it. Or the game will be over. We didn't. We'll just be like, oh we died. It's mission two. Game's done. So anyway, we'll figure out what's what's going on next time. Uh, maybe our new friends here, we got some units here, maybe our new friends can help us and show us uh, what's what's going on. So I'll see everybody then for Mission 3.